Rachel sat on the couch, surrounded by her family members and friends. She was wearing her graduation gown and cap, holding a bouquet of flowers in her hand. Her heart was pounding as they all applauded her accomplishment. It almost felt like a dream, but she knew it was real, and soon she would be leaving her small town to attend college. As the party continued, Steve came over to her, a smile on his handsome face, and hugged her. I'm so proud of you, Rachel. You'll make such an impact in college, he said. Rachel patted his back and smiled blankly. Steve had always been her best friend, but lately, she felt a cold rift between them, an unspoken tension. She didn't know what it was, but she felt like some invisible barrier had grown between them. Suddenly, a group of students from a neighboring school came walking in, led by a girl with long, black hair and intense green eyes. Rachel could sense a dangerous energy about her. She couldn't help but feel curious about them and found herself drawn to their group. They were like nothing she had ever experienced before, light and fun, living life to the fullest without regrets. Little did Rachel know that Lilith had taken an instant dislike to her. Lilith felt that Rachel was too pure, too innocent compared to herself. Lilith even found Rachel's friendship with Steve infuriating. She viewed Steve as a threat to their dynamic, and she would do anything to turn Rachel against him. Rachel spent more and more time with the group as the days went on, abandoning her real friends and her passions. Steve tried to talk to her and express his feelings, but Rachel dismissed him. Lilith took full advantage of Rachel's vulnerability and convinced her to take part in a ritual with the group. They all circled around Rachel with blue and purple candles lit, chanting supplications. A loud boom interrupted the ritual and the electricity went out. Rachel felt a sudden power go through her. She felt like her skin was burning, aching for something she couldn't comprehend. Her mood became erratic, and she started to feel like she was not in control of her own body. The group noticed her sudden behavior changes, and they began to worry. Steve tried to talk to her but Rachel kept pushing him away. Lilith knew what was happening and continued to manipulate Rachel into becoming more chaotic. At a confrontation with Lilith, Rachel lost control and transformed into a monster. Her eyes grew red, and her skin became black with quills protruding out from it. She started growling and attacking everyone around her, and the room erupted into chaos. She felt like she had become a creature from a horror movie, and she couldn't stop herself no matter how hard she tried. Steve and Lilith worked together to find a way to turn Rachel back into her human form, and they managed to do so after a long struggle. However, Lilith had sacrificed herself in the process, and Rachel felt guilty for what had happened. She hugged Steve tightly and realized how much she had missed him. Rachel's rebirth was not just physical. It was emotional and spiritual too. She had gone through her darkest moment and had to face herself to be reborn. She learned to appreciate the people who had always been there for her and accept herself for who she was. She realized that true friendship and love can withstand any test.